Hello. This is May 6th, 2012, and I'm Wilma Wake. I'm the minister of the online Swedenborgian community, www.swedenborgiancommunity.org. And I welcome you to our worship today. As we begin worship, you'll see that I have opened a Bible and I have lit a candle. The topic of today's worship is acting justly. And I'm going to begin by reading for you our scripture passage. This is from Micah 6, 8. God has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. And this is from Swedenborg. In short, acting in accord with the Lord's commandments constitutes true worship of him. Indeed, constitutes true love and true faith. As may also become clear to anyone who stops to consider the matter. We're going to be looking at this passage from Micah over the next three months as we get ready for our annual Swedenborgian Convention in early July. The theme of the convention this year is, What Does the Lord Require of You? And we're going to explore that question over the next three months in three parts. In May, we're going to look at acting justly. Next month, we're going to look at doing mercy. And then we're going to look at walking humbly with God. For the next two weeks, we're going to explore the concept of justice. We're going to look at how justice is applied in different ways in the world today, this week. And next week, we're going to look in more detail at exactly what Swedenborg had to say about justice. This week seems to be a good week to think about how justice is lived out in the world. May 1st, for many people throughout the world, is a time to honor labor and trade unions. In some places, it's called International Workers' Day. This is because of some of the events that took place on or about May 1st in history. Back in 1864, workers in Chicago were fighting for an eight-hour day, which seemed to them to be another form of human freedom after the abolition movement. And actually, a law was passed at that point in Illinois, and it was to go into effect on May 1st of 1867. Um, as it turned out, however, the um, various employers were able to undercut the law, and it did not go into effect. And the labor movement had a stepping back for a number of years. But then in 1886, again, there was action for an eight-hour workday, and there was a strike on May 1st of that year. It ended up in a huge battle between police and workers. It took place in Haymarket Square, and thousands and thousands of people were there, and a number of them were killed, and many of them were injured. In many countries now, May 1st is a day to remember what so many have gone through throughout history to be able to get uh, fair working conditions for all. This year in uh, North America, we saw a number of people in the Occupy movement um, protesting justice and fairness uh, from their perspective on May 1st, this historic day. Another important day this week is May 5th, yesterday, Cinco de Mayo. It's a celebration of the victory of Mexican militia over the French army at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. The French had invaded Mexico 
They were at the Gulf of Mexico and marching towards Mexico City, and they encountered a lot of resistance in Pueblo. And there, a Mexican army of about 4,500 men defeated the French army of about 65,000 soldiers and stopped an invasion of the country. The victory was a glorious moment for Mexican patriots and helped them to develop a sense of national pride. And today it's celebrated as a form of recognizing freedom and justice and of Mexican culture. I think both of these concepts would have appealed to Swedenborg. I think the idea of workers having fair working conditions and having time to spend with family is something that Swedenborg would see as a way of uh, caring for other people and showing love for other people and also the ability of a nation to maintain its sovereignty um, from um, an invader and to be able to celebrate its, its heritage, I think is something that Swedenborg would also see as ways of living out our justice in the world. For as he says, what's important for worship is not so much what we do inside, but what we do outside in the world. And by being just and performing uses in the world, we are worshiping with all of our actions. What does justice mean to you? When you look around, where do you see justice in the world? And where do you see injustice in the world? Um, give that question some thought, and we'll be talking about it throughout the week on www.swedenborgencommunity.org. Now let's pray, and this is a prayer that was written and given to us by our Prime Minister, Reverend Judith. Dear Lord, keep us close to you each day. Help us to sweep our hearts clean and listen for your quiet voice that guides us to do your will. Show us where our work and love will help those in need. Help us to spend our talent, our time, and our treasure in service to the marginalized and downtrodden. Keep us focused on your presence always. Amen. Thank you for joining us today for worship. Now I'm going to extinguish the candle. And close the Bible and invite you uh, at any time to join us at www.swedenborgencommunity.org where you will find chats and discussion forums and a great deal of information about Swedenborg and the Swedenborgian Church. Thank you for joining us today and God bless.